it's not the easiest thing in the world to run around and admit that you got the thing, right? I've, I've done the best I can on my side. And I've, I've come up against complications. And I still get people, even with all the amount of information that's gone out, people that will not have coffee in my house with me. They won't, you know, they come in and they sit in one spot and they stay there. They won't eat at my house. They won't drink or anything, you know. They won't go to the bathroom in my place because they're just, they're paranoid and they're, they're ill-informed or just uh, flat outly scared and they don't want to believe what they're being told, you know. I've been scared of it for, for pushing three years now. I mean, I was scared when I heard about it coming from San Francisco, you know, when it was a, everybody thought it was just a gay disease. And uh, then all of a sudden, I've got it. And it bought it home real quick. I think it's extremely serious. I think anywhere where you have a situation where the government's doing this massive same thing as in America. I mean, here, at least we've got the opportunity where they're talking about it, they're accepting it, and they're doing something about it. I mean, they've only got 16 million people in this country to deal with. In America, they're trying to deny that they don't have any IV drug users. They don't have a problem. You know, I mean, even, even the amount of stuff that's been done so far, like the, the Grim Peeper commercial, which was just a big fallout mistake. I mean, they spent three and a half million dollars when they could have been educating a whole lot of kids for that kind of money. What they did was they scared a bunch of little old ladies and isolated all the people that have got it. You get places like Attic, the APC, who are trying their best to deal with these situations. I think if they, if they slow down on the educational side of it or, or with the syringe exchanges or keep looking at the issues like um, legal legal heroin or whatever it is that they're going to come up with. They're going to have to try all of them because it's not going to be one thing that's going to do it. Why do I do this? That's, that's probably one of the big questions people ask me. I'm, I do it for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, a concern for the kids. If, if somebody doesn't start telling them now, I mean, they're talking millions of people having this thing. I don't want to see a million kids dying from it. It's not kind of what you do while you're here. It's, it's how you go. And I'm trying to do something good before I go, so when I get to the other side, whatever is there, um, I might have scored enough points to uh, not be labeled one of the, the bad guys, you know, go out as a good guy. But I do it hoping that it's going to uh, make the points better on the other side, and I might be able to save, you know, like I say, one kid's, if I save one, it's, it's, it's worth it, you know.